Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. What it do? What it do? This is your boy, Azakar and son. And what's up with you, everybody? This is AD. Y'all know what to do. You yeah, already know. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You be left in that loop, man. You already have your ears to the streets. You know what I'm saying? And messing with this channel, man. I'm going to keep you edified, you feel me? Teaching lessons, everything black, blacker than, blacker than space <laughs> itself. But you know me, man. I just like to give good content and uh, love to break bread and, uh, you know, uh, give some advice, uh, give some good insight. But I want to talk about life. But first, I got this this article I want to talk about right here, man. It's just it's sad because uh, you never know what people may go through. I always say count your blessings, and I really do really mean it. Count your blessings because you never know what will happen. Ain't that right, son? Why, Dad? You should always count your blessings. Yeah, man, because every day when you go outside them doors, man, the enemy can protect be can, uh Attacking you from all areas, you hear me? So, you know, you got to keep, keep your head on a swivel. Keep your eyes open. Mouth closed. And mind your surroundings, you feel me? I feel you, Dad. But we had a situation right here where, uh, in politics, you know, I'm sure y'all seen this about a couple of, was it about a month, month ago or whatever? I, I read about it. Well, I didn't read about it. I heard about it, and I skimmed over it, but, you know, I didn't really go too much in it. But it's about Paul Pelosi, a suspect charged with attempting to kidnap House Speaker and attempted murder. Dude, dude, they called the dude that was trying to knock off your boy. Now, I wonder what he did. Was he, uh, did he charge him on some shit? Or what, what was it? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but he has some type of disdain for this individual right here. But the man alleged to have uh, attacked Paul Pelosi, husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, has been charged with a, a litany of crimes, including assault, attempt murder, and attempt kidnapping, following last week's break-in. It was last week. That's why I said last week. I said last month. Last week. Last week break-in at the couple of San Francisco home. The United States, uh, the U.S. Attorney Office and San Francisco District Attorney Office announced on Monday. David DePepe, I, I, I might have jacked that all up, but he, he 42 years old. He's charged with one count of attempt kidnap and a U.S. official, according to the U.S. Attorney Office of the Northern District of California. That charge relates to Nancy Pelosi, who DePepe, told police he planned to hold hostage according to the FBI affidavit also unsealed on Monday. The attempt to kidnap a charge carries a minimum of 20 years in prison. Damn. Dang. I mean, just think about that, man. You want to go try to kidnap some people or, or try to hold some people hostage? Oh, no. Man, you don't want to mess up your life like that. And y'all don't want to mess up y'all life like that either. He is a perfect example on why not do no shit like this. But we're gonna play some of this audio right here and, and we're gonna we're gonna tackle into it and see what's up with it. We gonna see what's up with it. Yeah, do, 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 do. check it out. Go ahead and play your dad. I gotta say. Oh Pelosi still in intensive care following surgery after a violent attack at his home Friday. That left him with a skull fracture and serious injuries to his right arm and his hands. The suspect in the attack, 42-year-old David DePap, now charged with federal crimes, assault, and attempted kidnapping. After he allegedly broke into the Pelosi San Francisco home through a back door, went to the bedroom, and confronted Pelosi, shouting, Where's Nancy? According to law enforcement. According to the federal criminal complaint, DePap stated that he was going to... Damn, he said, Where's Nancy? Where's Nancy? <laughs> Man, they for the slow torture that man. Good Lord have mercy. Let's continue to cook. Hold Nancy Pelosi hostage and talk to her. If she were to tell DePap the truth, he would let her go. 
and if she lied, he was going to break her kneecaps. DePap also attempted to tie Paul Pelosi up before the assault. San Francisco Police Chief William Scott discredited conspiracy theories the two knew each other before the break-in. There is absolutely no evidence that Mr. Pelosi knew this man. As a matter of fact, the evidence indicates the exact opposite. The two struggled over a hammer, according to law enforcement. And when police arrived, DePap pulled the hammer away from Pelosi, then violently attacked him before police were able to tackle and disarm him. Damn. DePap was arrested at the scene. He brought the hammer used in the attack and was carrying duct tape and zip ties, according to law enforcement and sources familiar with the investigation. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, along with her security detail, was in Washington at the time. She returned to San Francisco Friday and has been visiting her husband at the hospital. The attack at around 2.30 a.m. early Friday morning at the Pelosi residence in San Francisco occurred just as police arrived in response to a 911 call placed by Paul Pelosi. There was a 911 call made and that's how we got there and, and, and thank you. Goodness that there was a 911 call made. Radio traffic picked up the call for assistance at the Pelosi residence. Special call, special call medic 66, location. DePap, still hospitalized, is expected to be arraigned Tuesday. He still faces state charges that include attempted homicide, assault with a deadly weapon, burglary, elder abuse, and other felonies. Condemnation of the attack and the rising violent political rhetoric now taking center stage. Elected officials have a hard enough job as it is and you know the fact that people's families are being put at risk it's wrong and it needs to stop we need some civility here and i just it's pathetic in my in my view what does it take does it take somebody being murdered it of course makes anyone um who is in political leadership uh st take a step back and to question um not only your own safety and the safety of your family but where we are at in our nation's history Ooh, that's crazy, dude. Now, yeah. first of all, we don't want to get in any type of trouble or even be put in a situation like that. You know, uh, uh, young men have a zeal for love and just, you know, to just be in front and just doing not only hazards to your health things, but just wild and living a fast life. And when you live a fast life, sometimes you want to just show out, especially for females. That's that's what dudes do. They show out for females and it always bite them in their ass all the time. You know? That's why I tell you, son, man, just hang out with yourself. I mean, it's cool to get you a little crew or whatnot, but make sure it's people that 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 that, that like kind of like know you and uh, know your surroundings, think like you, uh, don't get in trouble like you do. You know what I'm saying? Why? And just hang with people that that keep you out of trouble. And you know, don't and don't rush it. Try to fall fall in love. Listen no. to your old man. I ain't gonna tell you nothing wrong, buddy. I'm not gonna tell you nothing wrong. I'm not gonna tell you not to fall in love, but don't rush to try to find it. You know, don't rush to try to find it. And don't hang out with somebody who's always gotta be around people. I did not like crowds, and I don't like people who like crowds like that, man. I mean, I'm I'm just I didn't got up out of it. You know what I'm saying? What's up with the dog pound? Holla at me. Oh, uh, hey, Dad, to be uh, honest with you, Dad, hey, I rely on crowd people either. I know you don't, man. You, no, you almost I don't like me. Stick with family. Sometimes family, sometimes not. Sometimes you feel safer just sticking with yourself. Hey, you worried about that, Dad? You, you know yourself best, don't you? Yes, sir, I do. That's what I'm talking about, man. And, man, listen here. And I fuck with my cousins, too. Family, once again. And like I said, some, some family you can fuck with, but some family you can't fuck with. Why? Family, family can be worse than them people out there on the street. They can use you. They will know how to use you. They will find your weakness and use you. That's why I tell you, don't go to work to what? Make no friends. You goddamn right. To be, be with myself. And, and make your own money. And then when somebody be like, hey, hey, D, can I borrow some money? Like, nah, my boy, I ain't got nothing. I tell you what, call my dad and ask me, can you, can, you ask some money? can you ask some money? And see what my dad is saying. Daddy cuss his ass out. <laughs> why? You feel me? Hey, I feel you, Dad. Yeah, but you know, it was good having a little 
little family time with you, man. Family time is always good with you, son. You know that? Oh, yeah, Dad. I like to spend some time with you, Dad, all the time, man. I can have one few minutes to watch us a fire stick. Oh, yeah, we're going to watch a fire stick. We're going to watch either Evil Lives Here or, or the Fear Thy Neighbor or, 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 or uh, Deadly Women or uh, oh, uh, Killer Cam. Was it Killer Cam? Cam, yeah, uh, we're like, gonna we're gonna watch we watch a lot of shit on the ID network. We're gonna do another ID network video, y'all. If y'all like that, we're gonna rock and roll with it. Peace and a bottle of half grease. Man, they gonna they gonna let your boy have it. They gonna they gonna get in his ass in that jail. You better believe that. Peace and a bottle of half grease, people.